Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Unfortunately, too many workers in Oregon and across the country are still facing a great deal of economic uncertainty. They worry about rent payments, health care costs, saving for retirement, balancing family responsibilities and work, and making ends meet. Congress should be considering policy changes that support workers, not a bill that threatens their economic security. This bill takes away overtime pay, and instead, a worker gets a vague IOU for compensatory time sometime in the future, and only if the comp time does not unduly disrupt the operations of the employer, whatever that means. I would like to share the story of Anjanette. She said, I work as a waitress in a restaurant in Gresham, Oregon that's part of a large chain. I have three children. I have never had a single paid sick day. A few years ago when I was working in construction, I sprained my ankle badly and couldn't go to work for a week. I didn't have any paid sick days, so I lost a whole week's pay, which meant I wasn't able to pay all my bills and I wasn't able to pay for gas. Now, Anjanette is a single mother of three sons who also struggles to care for them when they get sick. In fact, when her youngest got the flu, her older son had to stay home from school to care for him. In May and June, we celebrate Mother's Day and Father's Day. This is the perfect time for Congress to focus on legislation that allows parents like Anjanette to be more present in their kids' lives and still pay their bills. Instead, this legislation would result in taking their overtime pay from their pockets. The so-called Working Families Flexibility Act is not a solution. I urge my colleagues to reject it, and I yield back. Thank you. General